Uh, things are about to get even more complicated for Belle Dingle in tonight's Emmerdale as her on-off lover Jamie is one step closer to, becoming, to coming clean about his accidental hit and run. Eden Taylor Draper joins me now. Good morning, Eden. Good morning. Now, just to summarise, Belle has accidentally killed her best friend Gemma in the past, had an affair with a doctor, been diagnosed with schizophrenia and ended a relationship with Lachlan White after discovering that he was a serial killer. I mean, literally, just how you roll. I mean, it's just a quiet life, quiet life. <laughs> the quiet life of Belle Dingle. Well, look, she's in a real predicament uh, tonight, isn't she? Yeah. Um, it, yeah, it's a big revelation and don't think she expected it now. I mean, I have to say, it's no secret, I love Emma Dale. Uh, and I've been, watching, I've been watching this storyline develop. Uh, and, and Belle's relationship as well, because she's, she's kind of been unlucky in love. Uh, she seems to really love Jamie. And I think, through your tremendous acting skill, if I'm seeing it correctly, she still does have a bit of a thing for him, would you say? Yeah, I think that's a tough thing. I think if she could help it, she wouldn't. But, yeah, there is, there is definitely feelings there. Take as much time as what can we expect in tonight's episode? Oh, I, I know you're not allowed to really tell us anything because you never do. So tonight is his confession of, look, I ran Moira over. And yeah, Belle's like, either you go to the police or I'll go to the police for you. She's like adamant, it's family. Doesn't matter how much I love you, you're in the wrong. But you can, you can see as a bit of a, that's like, mm. Well, do you know what, what do I do kind of thing? Do you know what, Eden? I've talked about Paul the sound man who gets good sound effects. He also does a good line in clips ahead of them being transmitted on the telly. Mm. I'm trapped. Oh, well, she gave me a choice. Either I lose you or I lose everything. Look, Andrew will stick me in prison if I don't go along. In prison? For what? If I don't make her believe that I, that I love her, that I still want to be with her, then she'll go to the police. She might have gone already after I snapped at her. And if she has, if they're looking for me, then I, I just, I had to see you first. Jamie, what have you done? I was the driver. It was me who ran Moira down. What? I don't know what to say, Eden. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, she's so cool. Oh, yeah. Because she knows she recorded that six weeks ago. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, I mean, she, Belle has such bad luck with men, doesn't she? She really does. Uh, it's the worst of the worst, yeah. I mean, she just can't get a good one. Well, is, again, I, the funny thing is, Eden, I don't want to ask too many questions because I genuinely watch it every night, so I don't want to spoil it for myself and for everybody watching. <laughs> but could you say, does it have a happy ending, her and Jamie, or should we just talk about something else for a minute? I just think this situation puts you in a place of you either pick your family or you pick Jamie Tate and you can't have both. Oh, and again, because it's Moira, this is personal because she is family mm. to Belle as well, isn't she? So, of course, this is quite a big thing. And poor old Moira, I mean, I have to say, when you get run over in a soap, you get like six weeks just lying in a bed. It's quite an easy job, let's be honest. Yeah, the, but the funny thing is, so when Natalie came back, obviously, it's the lockdown, nobody can come near each other. So Nat had to wire up all of her stuff to herself. And she said it was the hardest thing, just trying to like make it look real because no one could help her. So she was like putting all the tubes in. Um, so she did a great job actually. But what's it been like having to film with social distancing? Because obviously if you're doing a romantic scene, how do you do that at a two meter distance? Me and Alex had a funny one um, just when we came back and it was, you know, leading to something. And we just had to walk in opposite directions as if we're like meeting to kiss. And I don't know how they did it, but it genuinely looked like we were moving together to the same point, but it is quite funny. And have you enjoyed being back at work? Yeah, I'm, I'm loving it. It's so nice to just have a bit of normality um, and just to see everyone and have a laugh. And it's so safe and, yeah, it's, it's great. And it, and it must be like being with your family because you've been in the show since, 
which is unbelievable. 2005 is when you, you're going to appreciate that, aren't you? Uh, when you join the show, uh, <laughs> you look fantastic. I mean, look at you there. I mean, that's, I think that is 2005. Do you remember it? Do you remember joining it? And you, you're, a lot of your grown up teenage years have been on set at Emmerdale. Yeah, I do. I, it's kind of blurred and it feels like everything's happened in the past year and like I'm 50 years old and I've been there my whole life. Um, Nothing wrong I remember with being 50. Like a bit. Nothing wrong with being 50. <laughs> no, there is not. <laughs> but God, yes, you feel like you've been um, there your whole life. Yeah, and it is such a family. I can't imagine not going in and seeing them all every day. OK, and actually, say, every day on the set, uh, now we're looking there at the evil Andrea. Um, I mean, again, I'm going to talk as, as a viewer. You need to get rid of her, Belle. Somehow you just need to get rid of her because she really upsets you when she comes on screen. I'll go back to presenter mode. What's she like to work with that actress? Is she lovely? Anna is the nicest human being. I don't know how she flicks a switch, but she does it so well. And even in scenes, I'm like, OK, you're terrifying me a little bit, even though... The minute it stops, she's the nicest person. Um, but yeah, Andrea is a great character. But for Belle, she is horrific. <laughs> she is horrific. Well, look, Eden, it's been a pleasure to talk to you. Uh, Emmerdale continues tonight at 7 p.m. We've seen that special little clip. Uh, for your character moving forward, again, uh, just, just a small hint. You can use a thumbs up, thumbs down for me. Does it end positively or negatively? It'll be really subtle, nobody will notice. Okay, like, it's a mix. Okay, I'll still watch because I love it. Uh, thank you so much, Eden. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. You too. Take thank care. you. Bye. Bye. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.